Hello, welcome to this and that editorial. Today I'm going to compare a well tailored look of two different designers, Giorgio Armani and Ralph Lauren. Uh, if you like what you see in this video and you, when you get to the end, click on the next video that, that I've produced. So today I'm wearing a black, uh, sort of low rise uh, polo Ralph Lauren trousers. He doesn't have as high-waisted trousers as Giorgio Armani, but to, if you it, but these are at, off the rack designers that you can get that have a fairly nice, neat, uh, well-tailored look. And if you want to make your own suits look more well-tailored, you can play around with the shirts that you have. And I'll be wearing a couple different shirts in this episode. This is a tab collar shirt and it looks really neat and crisp and it saves you having to purchase a tie bar uh, which would go right there to achieve the same uh, sort of pressed look. So the shoulders are, also note the shoulders on the Polo Ruff Lauren. There is, you can see the label, that's important. Because the quality is good if you can get these second hand, you're sailing. So these shoulders are slightly wider than most suits and the reason that is is because it allows the drape to go straight down on a slight angle towards the ankles. And this is a six button crosse jacket. The shoulders are a little bit narrower than the Armani jacket that I'm going to show you next. Okay, I've got on Armani trousers, Armani tie, there's a dimple in the tie, same cap collar for a really tailored look, even with off, off the rack clothing, clothing. And light colored belt, it looks a little bit trendy but the contrast is genuinely nice. Put on this Crosse Armani jacket. These are one color suits. You can see the, there's no French cuffs, just regular barrel cuffs. If you want to play around with French cuffs that would give you a tailored look also. The trousers are a little bit higher waisted by about two or three inches than the full Ralph Lauren trousers. So, see, get a bit of sense of the shoulders. Although wide or taper off a little bit, the shoulder pads are a little bit softer than the Polo Ralph Lauren. In some cases, Armani takes the shoulder pads out completely. That gives a really soft, fluid look to the suit, which naturally covers the body's imperfections, even if it's off the rack. That's what's the genius of Armani. And now I'm wearing a wide cut collared shirt with French cuffs. These aren't actual French cuffs. These are button cuffs, but they're fold overs. They have extra material on the, on the wrist. And again, I can't emphasize the importance of wearing high-waisted trousers. It makes you look fitter if you just wear a belt and you're relatively fit. It looks very, very good. The last jacket I was wearing, I didn't show you the label. It's Armas. Armani Collisioni. And you'll get used to the Mark Armani look. So you'll be able to recognize the high cut trousers. If you can't afford it or you can't find low cost Armani second hand, then there are a number of shops, Italian also. North American that specialize in making what they advertise as wide-legged trousers. I 
again, the shirt makes the tailoring stand out. And you've got a bit of a tailored look with a wide cut shirt. Okay, if you want to emulate Armani, you can try to do it, but it never works out exactly right. Uh, the outfits are, and there's a rare designer who can emulate Armani's style. Anyway, I've got on these high-waisted trousers of Italian origin, an Armani tie, and the white-cut collared shirt, and I'm going to put on... So thank you for watching this and that editorial. Leave us a like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it's easy to do. Bye for now.